not speak Korean. Je 31회. 시간이 얼마나 걸렸어요? 안녕하세요. Hello and welcome everybody to Let's Speak Korean, your guide to the Korean language. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and next to me we have, as always, looking so handsome, here is Stephen. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I love your introductions are always so kind to me. Hello, everybody. 안녕하세요. Today we're going to talk about going places and how long it takes and this sort of thing. And to go along with us, we have two wonderful students. 안녕하세요. 저는 미리암입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 제이슨입니다. Our students look really yes, enthusiastic again. today. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, do you drive here in Korea, Steve? No, I wouldn't drive in Korea if you paid me. No, I try to avoid <laughs> driving in Korea as much as possible. Right. Especially because we're so lucky. Mm -hmm. The public transportation in Korea is phenomenal. You don't have right. to drive. You don't need a car. You can just pay... 701 on the subway and go anywhere. Exactly. I mean, and not only is the public transportation so well routed here, the Korea is just so crowded though. It's just yeah. there's too many people and it would just take you twice as long to get to your destination mm -hmm. by driving. Instead, you could catch a bus and mm -hmm. they've got the great lanes where they get to go. Mm -hmm. um, it's limited just to the buses mm -hmm. or they've got uh, what great taxis. Subway, the subway, subway. Is, it's routed, like I said, mm -hmm. everywhere and throughout the city and mm -hmm. goes out of the city as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Anyways, we're talking about driving through Korea today. Let's take a look at our expressions for today. Let's do it. 뭘 타고 왔어요? 지하철을 타고 왔어요. 시간이 얼마나 걸렸어요? 한 시간 걸렸어요. Here in Korea, when you're trying to get from one destination to another, like we said, it's best to take public transportation such as buses or the subway because you're going such a short distance, but the roads are so congested and there's so many people. Um, Miriam, what is your mode of transportation when you come to work? Well, I usually take the bus here because I like to see where I'm going. When I take the subway, I never know where I'm actually going. And right. I don't know, I get scared. Right, some people so. feel it's very suffocating to be inside somewhere yeah. where they can't see outside. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, then you want to say, bus, bus, tago wasayo. I came by bus. Bus, tago wasayo. Great. Well, using that, let's just ask Jason one more. Uh, Jason, bol tago wasayo. Yes. 오늘은 어, 지하철을 타고 왔어요. Mm -hmm. 지하철, that would be subway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Notice, when you have a 받침, the final consonant at the end of the word, as in 지하철, then you add 을, 지하철, 을, 지하철을 타고 왔어요. Mm -hmm. And then bus. And this is another wonderful thing about Korean for those of us who speak English. <laughs> Pretty much, a lot of the words are the same. You just right. change them over, right? Basurul tago wasel. In that case, the word ends in a vowel. Therefore, you must add the and finish the sentence. Basurul tago wasel. And I know Stephen loves his cup of coffee in the morning and in the afternoon and in the evening. Mm. So, Stephen, bol tago wasel when you came here today? Yes, I rode nothing. I walked here. Korowasel. <laughs> ah, uh, kotta, kotta is to walk. When conjugated, it becomes koro, kolda, korowasel. Anyway, but that, that's kind of a different story. We don't want to make things too complicated. What I do want to go over mm -hmm. is I want to quiz you guys on whether you should be using the e uh or the mm -hmm. objective. Marker, okay? okay? Are you ready? Right. I'm ready. Jason, right. we're going to go with you first because uh -oh. yeah. you always seem to end up second. <laughs> Jason, let's say you're going to ride a horse. Mal. Mm. Mal mm. is horse. Mal tago asa? Okay, that's right. I rode a horse over here. Mal uh. Mal tago asa. Mal tago asa. And then for you, let's go for another one of those English car, words. Car, car, car. How about taxi? Is oh, that okay? Okay, okay? Taxi. Another word that can convert very easily into Korean. Taxi. Taxi. Okay, make a sentence. 
taxi를 타고 왔어요. Okay, but your pronunciation is all wrong. It's not taxi. It's taxi. Taxi. Yeah, taxi 타고 왔어요. Very good. Yeah, well, I wrote a taxi here too. No, just kidding. Well, and then what you want to ask is how long did it take for you to get mm. here? Mm. Okay. Long. So right, time is 시간. So you want to ask 시간 얼마나 걸렸어요 or 걸려요, depending on how you want to ask. So, 시간 얼마나, how much time? How much time did it take you today? Oh, one hour. <gasps> 한 시간? Okay. Really? 한 시간? Okay. 한 시간? And then the past, verb. Past tense. 걸렸어요. 한 걸렸어. 시간 걸렸어요. 한 시간 걸렸어요. Right? Yeah. All right. So, okay. you want to say 걸렸어 if it was today. If you do it on a normal basis, you want to say 걸려요. It usually takes... Mm. Okay. Present tense, right? right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to get from here to there? You would just say 걸려요 instead mm -hmm. of 걸렸어. Why don't we use 몇, like in 몇 시 or something like that? Mm -hmm. why, do you, why don't we use 몇 instead of 얼마나? Hey, a uh, good handshake for my buddy Jason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good question there, right? When you say 몇, you're saying how many of something. Mm -hmm. This time, it's more of a quantity in the thinking, in Korean thing. And when you're talking how much, how much oh. in English and Korean, you, like, you, I, I'm sure all of you are a little familiar with the expression 얼마에요, right? As yeah. soon as you show up in Korea, right. you have to start asking how much is something, and that's 얼마에요. And then when you're asking how much time does it take, you're saying 얼마나 걸려요. Okay. Right. We didn't ask Jason this. Okay, Jason, how yes. long does it take for you to commute to work? Uh, 시간이 얼마나 걸려요? Hmm. 오늘 40분 걸렸어요. Wow, it took okay. 40 minutes today. Well, we, what we don't want to get confused about, though, is using present and past tense. Oh, right. Notice when she asked you, she was asking in the present tense, 얼마나 걸려요? Right. Which would mean usually. 보통, 보통 얼마나 걸려요? 보통 얼마나 걸려요? 아, 보통 한 시간 걸려요. Oh, right. then today you came really fast, huh? Yes, I did. 사십 분만 걸렸어요. Yes. 아하, how 오늘은 얼마나 걸렸어요? 오늘은 사십 분만 걸렸어요. Okay, now that we know how to express these, uh, how to get somewhere and how to express how long it took, let's go and wrap it up in our wrap it up with Stephen and Lisa corner. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. Steven, why are you so sorry? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did you do? I took a train. How long did you take? I took a train for about three hours. How long did you take a train? How long did you take a train? All right, we're not quite sure there if Stephen is lying or maybe he fell asleep on the subway. But either way, you're always late, whether it be in the flash animation or in real life, aren't you? <laughs> not true, not true, ladies and gentlemen. That's not true. But anyway, in the in the animation, it certainly is true. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of things that you need to pay attention to. We had nita. That's a new word, I think. Nujoyo, nujasoyo. That is to be late. Notice when it comes up against another consonant, mm -hmm. it doesn't get fully pronounced, right? Nutta, because it came up against another consonant, but then when it's conjugated, it comes up against a vowel. The zero plus a vowel makes it nujasoyo. Nujasoyo. Mm -hmm. I was late. Steve sensing him. Yes. I, I had a question as well. Um, <laughs> I didn't get what is kiri makida? Kiri makyaso? <laughs> My, 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 <laughs> Chuen Chae Jai. Yeah, he's day such now. a good student. Always asking <laughs> questions, <laughs> Jason. I will be hugging soon. Uh, you, okay, yeah, you guys can hug after the show. Uh, <laughs> Jason was asking what Kiri, Kiri is street or road. Kiri makes it the subject of the sentence, and Makida is crowded, okay? So Kiri Makyaseo means the roads were crowded. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us once again. And please come back next time here at Let's Speak Korean. Bye-bye. And visit us at arirangtv.com. Bye. Bye-bye.